Phelps, Bukowski. B cop says he located a green Kaiser Fraser from the hot sheet. Address is 6 West 2nd Street. Get over there, see what you can find out. Go on. Sorry to inconvenience you. We're on it, Captain. Welcome back, guys. My name's Tetra Ninja, and this is my I second. Swear, the more vent cars we bring in, the longer the hot sheet gets. It pays the rent, though. It keeps Mrs. Phelps in the manner to which she's accustomed. I'm not sure she'd agree with you. Passionate romantic type like you, Cole? I don't believe in me. Like I was saying, uh, this is my second DLC case that I have done. I have already done the Vice case called The Naked City. And I think as of right now, as I record this commentary, there are only three DLC cases available. Um, as of, well, well, what I just found out is that the next round of DLC is expected to be released on June 21st. So pretty close for now. But anyways, let's get on with this case. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. They're calling her the Dahlia now. Wonder what Veronica Lake makes of that one. What a case. You hear whether they're making any progress? But Captain Donnelly seems to think they have it all wrapped up. Brown and Green are sweating this manly character. I heard it'll be in front of a grand jury by next week. Poor thing. Terrible enough being murdered like that without having to get strewn all over the front page. enough to answer questions so there's actually a cheapest slash trophy Phelps here requesting immediate backup in pursuit of a stolen green kaiser fraser from 6 west 2nd street what you need to do is you have to stop him before the other cop cars get to him so you have to stop him you have to stop him without needing any enough help enough games Phelps take this back right here. that wasn't good enough try again I get really close up here. Come on. Uh, I may not make this one. Oh, I got him. Ha, <laughs> nice. I already have the trophy, but it would unlock if I hadn't over the speed got it. Get Out of the car now! Show me your hands! Why did you run from us? I saw a big car in my rearview mirror with two tough guys bearing down on me. What would you do? What's your name? Cliff Harrison. You're under arrest. For what? What are you talking about? Nice try. I'm talking about the car being stolen. You're out of your mind. I bought the car, and I've got the paperwork to prove it. So we just got to scroll down here. Looks like we'll have some questions for the people at Coombs Automotive. And back out. Vehicle reported as stolen. And as you can probably tell, since Bukowski is our partner, this is a traffic case. There are two traffic cases. This one is called a slip of the tongue, and the next one is called the console's car or something like that. So, vehicle report is stolen. You purchased this car from Coombs Automotive Company? Yeah, that's right. True. And the ownership papers? From the same place. If this is a forgery, it's top notch. This will need to be traced. Flip it over. Oh, I guess there wasn't anything to flip over. All right. Back it out. Motive for flight. Do you have a criminal record, Mr. Harrison? No, nothing like that. <laughs> it's kind of funny, but it's doubt. You better give us something, Cliff. But we're gonna make this hard on you. I didn't steal the car. I ran because, because I've got some wacky backy in the glove compartment. How much, Cliff? One reefer. We'll let it slide. 
You're in enough trouble. Vehicle purchase details. Who did you deal with at Coombs Automotive? The owner, Richard Coombs. It is true. And he made out the bill of sale personally? Of course he did. He kept a facsimile for his records. Check with him. We're going to get to the bottom of this, Harrison. Until we do, you're going downtown. You gotta be kidding me! I'm getting arrested for buying a goddamn car? If everything is legit, Harrison, you'll be out soon. Until then, if I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut. Bag his possessions as evidence. And have him arrange for Grand Theft Auto. Right, Detective. Do you know who my father is? Let's go take a visit to Coombs Auto. Second thought, I'm gonna actually switch need to my to outfit up. here. Looking kinda shaggy. What do I want to watch here? Or where? Um, it was Chicago Lightning. Auto and check out Harrison's story. You're behind the wheel. Coombs Automotive. All right, where to? <laughs> what I think he's telling the truth some of the most convincing people you will ever listen to are born liars usually they're called politicians not another step i have got a buick century sedan that would be absolutely perfect for you detective phelps lapd are you the owner that's right richard coombs at your service you looking to trade in a black and white boys <laughs> mr coombs we're investigating an auto theft a man by the name of cliff harrison claims he bought the car here well uh, some people would say that my cars are a steal that's a joke son very amusing, Mr. Coombs. I remember Harrison. It was a green two-tone Kaiser Fraser, if I remember rightly. Do you have the bill of sale? It's in my office. Walk this way. That's a joke, too, son. Phelps, you mind if I shoot this guy? He's getting on my nerves. Yes, please shoot him. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, just as a side note, I mentioned this earlier that I actually purchased the Rockstar Pass. I, ha I already had two of the DLC that came free with my game, but I was missing the third one. Uh, but the third one was like four bucks, right? And then buying the Rockstar Pass not only gives you extra weapons and outfits like the Broderick, the uh, teal suit I was wearing. If you do plan on purchasing future DLC, such as the ones coming out on June 21st, uh, if you have the Rockstar Pass, they actually uh, come out as a discount. So for me, it was just more worth it to buy the Rockstar Pass. So just a heads up to you guys looking to play more of this game. Right. Here it is. Got the original pink slip there too. So we just gotta examine these two pieces of paper. Gene Archer, 146 North Fremont Avenue. And then scroll and flip it over, sorry. Marquee Printing Co., all right. Place that down, next piece of paper. All the way down. Harrison's purchase receipt was legit at least. Now it's interesting. We have a couple of questions. All right, fellas. Shoot. Details of transaction. Can you tell us how you came to buy the car? Girl just wandered in right off the street. True. Nothing unusual about the car. Not really my usual type of vehicle. The price was certainly right, though. Nice girl, but about as sharp as a bag of wet mice. Did you pay with check or cash? A check. She wanted it made out to cash, but I insisted. Man has to watch his cash flow. What name? I made it out to Gene Archer on the Bank of Arcadia. Description of suspect. Can you describe this Gene Archer? 
Brunette, maybe 25, 26. A little on the plump side, but not bone ugly. True. What was your impression of her? Kind of harried and harassed. In a hurry to go somewhere, but no place to go. You get to know the type. Association with Marquis. Do you know anything about the company that prints these pink slips? Nope. Should I? It isn't exactly my business. True once again. It says Marquis Printing. You've never heard of them? Marquis. Sure. They do all the government red tape. You'll find the place down on Aliso Street near San Pedro. Check payment details. When exactly did you hand over the check, Mr. Combs? Close of play on Friday. This one is actually doubt. Why didn't you pay her cash? You knew the car was dirty. I had an inkling. When people are in a hurry for money, always pay by check, son. Gives you a couple days to back out. Suspicious, suspicious transaction. This was all above board. Yes, of course it was. Doubt. Did this look legitimate to you, Coombs? I'm in used cars, son, not bearer bonds. In my business, you don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Now don't come on all high and mighty with me if you want my help. Thanks for your help, Mr. Coombs. We need to continue the investigation. Hope you sort out your problem with Mr. Harrison. Go easy on him, son. Boy's about as sharp as a bowling ball. He's built too low. The fastballs fly over his head. Let me shoot this guy, please. <laughs> Have a pleasant day, Mr. Coombs. Alright, next well, use a game well. Look, but we can still run an APB on Gene Archer. Get on the horn and call it in. Nice jump, Phelps. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, Detective? Requesting an APB on Gene Archer, age approximately 25, on suspicion of Grand Theft Auto. Relay the information. Are there any messages for me? A James Velasco is being held at Central Station on suspicion of GTA. Possible link to the Harrison case. They're waiting on you to conduct the interview. Thanks for your help. That's that cop. Seems like a decent guy. All right, so where's our car? There it is. We're gonna visit two other places before we go to the police station to conduct that interview just to get more clues Can first we're going to go one? to 146 and North where exactly Fairmont are we going? or Fremont there's nothing there but we uh, need it as a Here's a chicken fake egg address question. do you think you have to be an asshole to sell cars or that selling cars turns you into an asshole you've got it in for everyone today haven't you I've always got an info car sales. Doesn't matter what day. And why do they always think they're comedians when they're about as funny as a heart attack? Maybe the more annoying they are, the quicker you sign on the dotted line just to get the hell out of there. Now it ain't cause that I don't smoke myself. Empty. Should have known that Archer Broad would have given us a false address. We should go to the station, see what this Velasco guy had. Anyone notice that? That in that scene, Phelps was driving, <laughs> but they came you know out the house was drive. driving. Uh, where are we going? Marquee Printing Company. Once again, it's still another dead end, but we have to go there first. Why are you going to the driver's seat? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just go in and talk to the guy briefly and get out as quick as possible. And what can I do for you, gentlemen? I'm a traffic detective from Central Division. Who's in charge here? I am, Gordon Lightfall. What's this about? We understand that your company prints California vehicle titles. Yes, I have the government contract to print pink slips. I've done for some years. 
Have you had any goods or equipment stolen recently? We're running up against stolen cars with seemingly legitimate paperwork. Not recently. Have you ruled out forgery? There's no shortage of talented artists in this town. We'll keep it in mind. All right, we got our POI, person of interest. Now we can go back to the police station to conduct that you can interview. Drive. <laughs> Do we know where we're going? Why must my partners always ask that? Just drive! Jesus. Detectives, Velasco is prepped and ready in two. Another stolen car with legit papers. Thanks. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. It all's fair in love uh, interview room, room two, right here. Crummy bastard. Just call me crummy James bastard. James Velasco? I want a lawyer. It's my car and I got the proof right here. Take a look for yourself. Where's the word abbreviate for so long? The paper is real enough, Velasco, but the car isn't yours. This pink slip is a forgery. No, it has the same address as the last pink slip. Is somebody going to tell us what the hell is going on? Stolen, stolen auto courier. Where were you taking the car, James? Blow it off, Greenhorn. You'll get nothing from me. Doubt. You're a two-time loser. If you don't give me something, I'm going to ask the DA for the maximum. You're looking at ten years, Belasco. Kiss your youth goodbye. I, I want a deal. Keep talking, and we'll see what sort of deal you're worth. My job is to drive the cars out of state. Nevada, Arizona, sometimes New Mexico. With the paperwork they provide, it's normally a breeze. Association with Archer. Does the name Jean Archer mean anything to you? Nope. Never heard of her. It's a lie. You're a liar, James. Say that again. I'm telling the truth. I don't know the broad. Fake address. So that's why you both have the same address printed on your pink slips. She's a mule for these stolen vehicles, genius. Same as you. Jesus. All right, I know her. Stupidest broad I ever met. Always cooking up crazy schemes. I don't know why those guys use her. You happy now? Auto theft racket. What happens to the cars once they cross over the state lines? I don't know. I just deliver them. Doubt. Give me something, Velasco, or I'll take you back to the cells and tell the whole station you're a child molester. How long do you think you'll last? Okay, okay. I hear you. The cars get sold in Chicago or back east. Sometimes I bring back cars coming the other way. Stolen vehicles warehoused. Where do you pick up the cars, Velasco? Warehouses. Mainly in East downtown. Doubt. An address, Velasco. You want my help with the DA? Cough it up. Now. A place on Industrial Street. I don't know the number. You're gonna help me out, right? Keep talking, kid. We'll see what we can do. All right, James. We're gonna check if this information is worth anything. And if it is, I need your help here, pal. If it is, then we'll know you're a man of your word. And so will the DA. You're Phelps, right? Yes, I am. Look, can we do this later? I'm in the middle of it. Ray Pinker. I'm with Technical Services. The pink slips are all real. Yes, we know that. There's only one company that prints them in California, the Marquee Printing Company. They've confirmed that the numbers are legitimate. You've checked them out? Sure. They're on Aliso Street, near the corner of San Pedro. The guy I spoke to was Lightball. Gordon Lightball. Here, I wrote it down. Thanks, Ray. This is a great lead. We'll get down there as soon as we can. All right. Really didn't need that because we were already there. Let's go back oh, out here. We should get that phone call. Suspect, Gene Archer, spotted by a patrolman. Western Union office, 253 South Hill. Less than a minute away down the street if you run. Go! But you won't hang around. 
Western Union office. Let's go. Come on. Why can't I set it as my location? You drive. Come on. Come no. on, loser. You don't really have to rush. 